Hi everyone, it's Carissa and I am here with a card project for you today. You may have recently seen on my blog that I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and just for this occasion I am going to have a very special giveaway on my blog so you can check it out. It's at sprinkledwithglitter.blogspot.com and I want to thank Lifestyle Crafts for um, sponsoring the giveaway there. Today I'm going to be using my letterpress by Lifestyle Crafts and I'm going to do a card project but what I'm going to do is kind of show you the same card maybe three or four different ways. I haven't quite decided how many how many ways yet, but um, I'm going to start out by letter pressing. And I have the Splendor Printing Plate set. Um, this is kind of like a background over here. And then on this side of the letter press, I have my A2 card. Now, I have my inks prepared and they're off to the side, but I did want to show you that I... Since I'm using the letterpress A2 fold card and I don't really want any of the printing on the back side, I've gone ahead and just masked the back side of my card with some removable adhesive and just a regular piece of printer paper. Now it won't necessarily keep the impression from getting on the back, but it will keep the ink from getting on the back. So I just wanted to show you that. So I'm going to bring in my ink here and I'm going to start off with the black ink and I'm just going to ink up my base. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time showing you the letterpress process. I do have videos specifically on just using the letterpress, um, but I want to show you how you can use the this same card like four different ways. So I'm just going to kind of breeze through this real quick and I'm going to start out by inking this up and then I'll show you the sentiment, how I do that, and then we'll move on. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've letterpressed several of these cards. I did about 10, and the reason I did that is because once you have your plates in, in place and your ink all ready to go, the process is really quick. But also because I'm planning this card to be something that can be used for a man, woman, boy, or girl just by changing the embellishments. So I chose colors that could be um, unisex as well. So I did the black and I'm going to add these letters here from the Scholastic Printing Plate set. And I have just the H, the B, and the two, and the U. Now how I do this, and you have to find the system that works for you, but for me, the system that works for me is I kind of place it on the card how I want it and kind of line it up. I have the adhesive on the back already. And then I just close the letterpress tool over it and kind of use it to pick up those letters. So I've just used my teal blue letterpress ink to ink these up and now I can close this down and run it through my Epic 6 as well and press the sentiment into the card. Okay, so now that I have all of my letter pressing done, I can start embellishing these. And so this one is actually going to be quite easy. I have, um, it was a fold card, but I went ahead and cut it down to where it was just the card front and then this will mount on a card base of a different sort. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this T-square ruler here and I'm just using it so that I kinda get my cut straight and I have a blade here and I am just going to cut some slits in this and add some ribbon to the card. Get this straight. Alright, so I got my ribbon all trimmed up and tied on there, and I'm just going to add this little glitter 
um, embellishment here. This actually has some adhesive on the back of it, so all I have to do is peel that up. I'm going to put that right there. All right, so so far I have the card two different ways. I have it just letterpress, totally unembellished, and it looks fabulous like that is. And then I have it kind of dolled up a little bit and layered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and set it aside, and I'm gonna take this one and make it a little more masculine, but still add some embellishment to it. So I'm gonna bring in some twine here, and I have kind of a mess of it. I don't exactly store this the way it should be stored. <laughs> But I'm going to just wrap this around the card a few times and kind of allow it to crisscross and do its own thing. And then before I tie it, I have this already um, letterpress piece. It's the little banner shape or a little flag shape. And I am going to thread this through this. To keep my flag from flying away, I will just add a couple little dimensionals underneath it. And have that just like that. Okay, so here's three, and I have one more version to go, and we will have four, one card four ways. So what I'm going to do for the final version of this card is I'm going to make a Carissa version, and a Carissa version always has rhinestones on it. So I just have these pre-adhered rhinestones here. These just happen to be from Stampin' Up! And you could use your IROC, um, whatever works for you. And I am going to just sprinkle some of these kind of randomly throughout these um, rays is what I kind of call them. So I'm just going to kind of place them here and there. And then what I'm doing on these letters is I have these that are linked together over here kind of as a chain and I am just clipping off about three of those and just adding them to, to some of the straights of the letters. So I have them kind of, the rhinestones kind of sprinkled just randomly and I didn't even use the same size on those. I just used different sizes and then... Um, On this too, I think I'll just put it down this side right here. Okay, and so there is my fourth and final version of the card, the Carissa card. It has just sparkle all over it, and I love it. So I'm going to bring them all back in here. We have the plain, we have the feminine, we have the masculine and we have the Carissa. I just want to take this moment to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. And in honor of me hitting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, you can go on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.blogspot.com and Lifestyle Crafts has generously donated a letterpress combo kit for me to give away. And the winner will also receive a set of die, one set of dies from Lifestyle Crafts, their choice. So go on over and enter on this blog post where you'll see letterpress, uh, one card, four ways, and tell me which, which one of the four versions is your favorite, and you can be entered to win that. I will be choosing a winner on September 20th, 2011, so that is when the giveaway will close. So thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. <music>